Hey guys, and welcome back to Summer. <clears throat> when we last left off, uh, we decided that taking a sentient dumbat is probably not a great idea. So we have a plan B. We need to get out of uh, Theta and go to Omicron. Um, and then find some kind of uh, underwater elevator down to the abyss, which sounds fun. We also had a scan in our scanner magic there, and we found out that we are actually... Uh, a human corpse, essentially, which may or may not be dead. Yeah. Being dead is very subjective in this game. So, that's kind of interesting. But the interesting thing is we're actually a female character as well. So, uh, well, I guess Simon has um, at least one fantasy fulfilled. Right, let's go. Okay. I have no idea what uh, beasties we're going to find in here. Oh, this is fancy. Oh, I say. We're being spoilt with the scanner jigs, aren't we? Oh, it's quiet. It's very quiet. Quiet is good. Alright, well maybe it's not as quiet as I was originally hoping it was going to be. Never mind. So we have a light up here. What, what, what's here? What's here? Oh, we have smash doors. That's a good sign. Uh, system error. Well, that's... That's not brilliant, let's be honest. We have some very heavy clunky footsteps here too. It sounds like something's walking around. Hello? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, a human. Most likely a dead human. Let me guess. System error. Oh no. Dispatch. Oh, we can't actually use that, sadly. Um. Well, this gentleman's been horribly murdered. Let's go have a look at him, shall we? Definitely a p Well, something sounded a little bit upset then. In fact, something just sounded extremely upset. Uh, can we smash this door open? Come here, can. And of course, by door, I mean window. Oh, fuck. Okay, so we have like a zombie doodad. Oh, it's following us. So how... How the frick nuts do we actually get away from it? Is this hiding? So it's a weird screaming zombie. That's okay. We can handle a weird screaming zombie. So we can run away from it. But it is going to probably follow us around. Yep, he's down there, alright. What the hell is that? Is he gone? See, if only we could slap him over the head with something. I'm not sure what we'd slap him over the head with. Maybe if we had one of those stun buttons again. That would be really nice. Well, hopefully... He hasn't looped round on us and we can actually get in... This building. So it looks like he runs, but he doesn't run as fast as us, which is quite nice. 
One might even say jolly convenient. Okay. Can we get through here, please? Can we get through here? Thank you. Where is it? Oh, there it is. What is that thing? Now, I'm assuming he can't walk through a locked door. And if so... If so, that means we have this one safe haven. Of sorts. He's not a very happy gentleman, though, is he? He does seem to be a little bit sour about something. Now, can the AI see through windows? That is going to be something we need to find out. Because in a surprisingly large amount of games, AI can't see through windows. Ooh. What's this? Did something get to the moon? And also, this gentleman does make a hell of a lot of noise, so that's good. Hey, pal. Did he get ya? Give, give me that, give me that. What is that? Some kind of chip. I guess we're going to need it for something. Who are you? Oh, you're Brandon. Oh, well. Well, that's not good, is it, sir? There's a simulation of you, you know. Oh, he's tied up. No, he's not. He's just got a bracelet. Intriguing. Right, well, uh, what do we have here? Uh, critical system failure. Well, that's generally not a good thing. I say generally. I think they got him. They definitely got him. Not quite sure how they got him there. Oh, I see. Unless he slit his own throat. Is there any evidence of that? Can't see a knife anywhere. Oh yeah, I see. <clears throat> so he committed suicide. Understandable, I suppose, given the situation. However, I don't know if slitting your throat would uh, be the best way to go about these things. I mean, it's certainly unique. I give him credit for that. Go big or go home, right? Now. Where's Mr. Grumpy? I think he's going that way. Now, we did hear a door open a minute ago, so he can walk through doors, which is a little bit awkward, to say the least. Now, I want to know what that chip is that we have in our inventory. He's coming up round here now. There he is. You alright, buddy? You're a bit of an ugly douchebag, aren't you? But then, for some kind of underwater mutant zombie, that's hardly surprising. What is it? Oh, it is kind of like a zombie. Yes, yes. Fascinating. Come over here, buddy. Let's get a good look at you. Although we can't really get a good look at you because we get that silly static. It's really annoying. Alright. Well, intriguing. I wish... Oh, fuck. Oh, he's right there. Come on, pal. Jog on. we got stuff to do. Time is money. Some of us have got work to go to. Yeah. 
Right. Okay. Sneak, 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 sneak. Ooh, there's health there. Oh. Oh, dudes. Mad dudes. You're not having a good time, are you? Where is this douchebag? Where is this? And the more important question Is there only one? I have no idea. Right, we have a hell of a lot of rooms here. Oh, you're still alive as well. Ah, my commiserations. Now, I have no idea if that thing's going to hear that. I hope not. Can we turn the lights out in here? Right, what have we got? Acres. One of the worst cases I've seen, and it most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his insides with structured gel. I'd be surprised if he ever woke up from the coma. Uh, did make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened at Lamba. Could it really be that the WoW is somehow able to change and rebuild the... But mate, I'm trying to read. I am trying to read. You would have thought you'd be able to lock these. This is an important story here. See, I have to be honest, it's one thing that annoys me. Um, this, I, I kind of had the same thing with um, Alien Isolation to a little degree. There's so many little bits of story that are scattered around the level that you really, really, really want to look at and really want to read. But when you're facing an enemy that you can't fight, that can just randomly turn up and ruin your day, it kind of... It makes you not want to read these things. It makes you just want to shoot through the levels as quick as you can. Come on, mate. Be cool about this. Because I want to read all this stuff. But I won't be reading all this stuff if I'm continuously getting killed. Whilst trying to read the said stuff. Especially when there's no logic to it. Like, you can't push the enemy back. You can't... <clears throat> there's absolutely no way to defend yourself. And you can't even lock the door. Right? Doors would have locks. You know, we, we had locks a hundred years ago. Had locks a thousand years ago. To not be able to lock these doors, just it just does not make any sense. Okay. Alright, buddy. Just uh, having a look at your computer here. Uh, heart, right. 20 female. Heart appears to be in good shape, considering the circumstances. Only bruises and mild hypothermia caused by the long walk. It's difficult to collaborate her story as she is the only one able to return. Catherine Chan. As usual, Chan is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here. But Strohmeyer demands another evaluation. Chun isn't uh, abstinent or dishonest, but she'd rather not speak if it can be avoided. She has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chun is a weakened character. The perfect victim to be domineered and pushed around by others. She is a scared mouse I don't want to upset. So we sit quiet and pass the time. Uh-huh. Guy Conrad. Conrad is dead. He boiled his brain to a pulp with a WREM miser following the ARC scan. Clearly another continuity uh, enthusiast killing himself to take place on the ARC. Right, now I've read this stuff. And they're just 
basically psyche vows. I also get the feeling with these enemies that they seem to kind of... They don't necessarily know where you are. But it does seem that they have like a rough ballpark area. Which makes sense in a way, because otherwise it would probably be too easy. You fucking dickhead. Alright, pal. Jog on. And that is giving me a headache. That static. Oh. That is not a good... Alright, we lucked out there. We lucked out there hardcore. Damn that static. Can we turn that off? That is too much. Post effects. Oh man, that is weird. That has made my eyes go really funny. Uh, texture filter times four. You what, mate? Um, is there really nothing we can do about that? Um... Shit, so we have to have that static. It would have been as bad if we could reduce it a little bit. Oh my god, I can't even look. So I'm guessing he doesn't actually come into the rooms. He just pops his head in, which is kind of interesting. That gives us a little bit of leeway there. I want to shut the door. But I don't know if that's going to create noise. He's coming back now. Come on, mate. Let's be cool about this. I can't actually defend myself in any way, shape or form. So I'm just going to sit here. Sitting in my own shit. Okay. Okay, I think he's gone. Let's go. I don't know where he's gone. And it doesn't much matter. Ooh. Ooh, I say. Well, this looks delicious. Uh oh. Yeah, thought that might happen. Oh dear. Yeah, well the wow kind of got into his brain. So structured gel isn't actually toxic, but in large quantities it can uh, cause mutations. Oh my. Now where's this utter douchebag gone? There wasn't a lot left of acres, was there? Bloody hell. This structure gel stuff is actually becoming quite fascinating. Uh, 
All right. Yep, it heard that. Okay, so it does hear doors opening. Uh, why can't I go around here? There we go. And has the dickhead just closed my door? Or has he just opened another one? I don't mind him opening another one, but I'd be quite upset if he's just closed my door. I need my door to walk through. Yeah, that's the good thing about doors. They allow you to get to places. And I've started recording without having a fresh cup of coffee. God damn it, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. I can see this gentleman is very upset. But he is really impeding our progress right now. We're in a surgery bay. There's loads of weapons and tools all over the place. Surely we could slice him up with a scalpel. Or stick that up his fucking ass. Like to see him chase us then. He's still here loitering. I don't exactly know where. But I know the fucker has to be here somewhere. Right, lock this door down. Of course. Of course. Little shitbag heard that, didn't he? <sighs> Look, I, I appreciate I'm the only person that you've had here to play with. For probably a good amount of time. But I don't want to play. I've got to save the human race with my friend, Catherine. He's currently sleeping in my pocket. It's a weird story, but we don't have time to go into details. Good lad. Good, good boy, good boy. Okay. Another door to open. Damn it. I don't like opening doors. It cools the knob end over. Is he in the vents? Something's in the vents. Now, now, mister. You ain't no xenomorph. Right, okay. Oh, fuck. Actually, losing the lights is good. Losing the lights is good. That gives us more places to hide. As long as we can still hide. Mate, there's no way you can see us here. That's right, pal. Fuck off. Keep walking. Keep it walking. Come on. And the rest. Good lad. He's got. I like the way he shuffles off. <laughs> it's quite funny. Right. Can we hide anywhere in here? Not really. We are lit up like a bloody Christmas tree here.
crap. God damn it. Yeah, he, okay. So, it seems pretty obvious now that he is loitering around us. Because this area is quite big, but he's always where we are. Kind of like the alien in isolation. It kind of, um, it's always within X amount of meters of you. See, I really want to shut the door. See, we've got data buffers here. For science, is this corner hidden? Or the corner might not... Oh! Oh, hello! Connector chip. What the shit does that do? Oh, can we go prone? Is there an option to actually go prone? Oh. Throw object, right mouse button. Cancel interact. Okay. So we can throw stuff. It's just that key was never bound. Interesting. Right, well, let's cancel interact. That was a return. Okay, well, that makes things nice. So we can distract him. Cool. Uh, yes. But we cannot actually go prone and, you know, like hide under a table. Like a normal person. All right, mate. Now, can he see us here? That will be a yes, I guess. So we can actually... Okay, so this is classed as hiding. Um, okay, cool. I was concerned that this wouldn't be hiding. Now, now, sir, you've already searched here, remember? That's right. This is just a very robotic looking chair with red eyes. Okay, cool. I really want him to move away a little bit more. Oh, he's running. Uh, okay, connector chip. Right, override door lock. Systems malfunction, lock limits active. So we have to lock a door. I guess. There we are. Alright, so we lock that up. Can we not scroll? So we've been through there. Suppose we could lock that one up, but that really limits us if we get chased. Alright, back to hiding. You alright, mate? Come back to have a look at this very strange chair again. The weird blue chair. The red eyes. No, I think he's bored of us. You know, he's probably very lonely. And that in itself is quite sad. We have paper here. I don't know if us reading that is going to... affect him. Ooh. Potentially, depending on where he is. Mm. 
We could lock that door. I don't know if that's where he was. But it sounded like it. If we've just locked him in there, I'm going to be quite happy. Right, anyway, uh, what have we got here? How do we... Uh, Overseer? Lancy? I'm going to say he's still out there. Check. And seat doors... Mm, downstairs. Shuttle to Omicron. Anchors is not alone. At least proxy something. Well, I guess we didn't lock this gentleman away. I wonder if we could, though. Or if you just find a way of escaping. I think we need to research. I can't make out where the bastard is. I don't want to jump up and fiddle with the computer to find out that he's there or there. Alright, key control. Uh, panel chip connected. Update connected chip. Alright. Right. Alert. Alert conference room. Alert shuttle station. Alert common. Oh. Uh, right. Well, I guess we're going to have our chip back. I want to know where he is. Because we could potentially lock him down. I wonder. Is it worth the risk? Oh, he was up there. Okay. Look, come on, mate. This is this is getting a bit sad now. I wish there was a light switch in here. He's coming back, isn't he? No? Maybe? We can't do anything with that. I wish we could slide under this table. Let's listen to the data buffer. Yeah, we have to stay close to listen to these. Stromer, you there? I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Damn it, hey, come Brandon. on, get out, get out, get out. He's coming back. That is going to be a pain in the ass to read. Or to listen to, I should say. He's literally right up there. Oh, actually, thinking about those data mines... I don't think they make noise. I think we listen to those like telepathically. Which, you know, hooray. Alright, Chief. Um. Um. Are you blind? That isn't an insult, that's an observation. What? What? I thought we were dead for sure. Right, let's try and 
listen to this quick. Stromer, you there? I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gun. God damn it! Station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Don't worry, Alice. I'll be back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle and be ready to go. Are you sure? Right, okay. We saw, we have heard about as much of that as we can. It's not worth listening to it, because he's just going to keep interrupting us. Hey buddy! There was nothing here, remember? Yeah, he's just going to keep um, interrupting us every single time. Alright, there we go. Um... Now, is there a reliable way that we can lock him in? So, he just goes down to the bottom of that corridor and then comes back. He's now in that room there. Can we lock him in? He is in that room. Now, was that a room that we need to go into? No. Is there two of them? There could well be two of them. Which is a little bit of a pain, not gonna lie. I'd love to lock that fucker in there. But of course we can't do that. I'm just gonna have to slide around the git. Well, we've got our chip. So that's a thing. Right. We are just going to have to sneak around him. So let's grab you. He didn't seem too impressed with that at all, did he? Go on, buddy. There was a noise over there. Might be a delicious human with a fresh brain. Maybe. What else could it have been, mate? Ah, for God's sake. Where is he? I think we just tripped over something. Come on, buddy. Yeah, man. Look, I'll make this easy for you. Now, you would have heard that. Seriously? Are you deaf and blind?
<sighs> God damn it. Now you're just going to be a massive pain in the ass. Do you know what I'm going to do, sir? I'm going to go around the outside. Oh, I bet if we... I bet if we open that, here come running. Maybe? Really want him in there. Come on, you douchebag. Really? Oi. Hello? Okay, he's not, he's not falling for this at all, is he? We're going to get ourselves killed doing this. Use. Is he locked in? No, he is making tracks now. Come on, you stupid motherfucker. Oh. If I can lock him in here, I will be happy. He's like right in the back of that building. Unless his AI is trying to actually walk him through the building. I have no idea. Anyway guys, I'm going to have to end this video here because we've been going for nearly an hour. Uh, when we come back, <laughs> I guess we're going to continue playing Kiss Chase. So, until then guys, thanks for watching.